Eaton. You guys all saw the show. We all did our own riding. All of us did our own riding. The only time I didn't was when my bike went off a cliff and shit like that. I went, no, you handle it. My stunt guys can handle that. But we had one unrehearsed, unbelievable chase scene in the last last season, and we had all these stunt drivers and, and of cars that me and about five of us were zipping, 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 and we didn't really rehearse it. Our bad. But the stunt guy said, everyone's gonna be fine in the cars. What happened was, we don't know why, but the cars just stopped in front of us. And I must've been going 50. And I literally hung to the right, otherwise I'm going right into the back of a car. I got off my fucking bike, man, and the director of that show, I, I ripped him, and the stunt people are new, you know what? Because we, we, we really got lucky. I, I gotta say, though, the only reason that no one died or was maimed badly was because of you and Bloom. The level of this man's professionalism really definitely saved lives. Because uh, they you, sent you no, seriously, stupid Tom. moments on that show. There, there was, they called me safety first. Safety and they, first, and they, command they, the coats. They fucking hated me because I stopped more shots. I stopped, said, what are you doing? You can't, hey, what are you doing? I remember Tommy, first, just, I mean, we had done a big movie together in Bulgaria, we were friends already, and we're shooting the second, third episode, and Tommy is dragging his feet on the cement, going 40 miles an hour. I don't like my boots. And Should I, I break my boots in? And I, I, I stopped, I said, what, funny, what are you doing? I said, my shoes are slippery. I said, well, you don't drag them on the cement. Let's just fix it. Let's get the, the wardrobe department over here to scrape them off. That's what I had to deal with, the stuff like this. All the way to season seven. <laughs> so obviously we know, I don't want to give anyone any spoilers, but obviously we know that a lot of the cast members are no longer with us in Sons of Anarchy. So we'll be looking for a new president, obviously if Sons of Anarchy was to continue. Who would uh, be VP? I think I'm the fucking president. <laughs> VP. You guys, you guys, you saw that at the end when when Jax hands the presidency to Chibs, and Chibs has a VP to me, and, 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 and we kissed our little Jax in the cheek, and that was that. Look, there's a line we can't allow our hearts to, well, the fuck it was, yeah. So, yeah. I love you too. So Tommy, you're the president, and Kim, you're the vice, yeah? VP, president. Of order, like what would be your first ruling? What was that? What would be your first ruling as like VP or you know president? Do you have anything in mind? Well, we have. Sorry. <laughs> Our idea was tag and chips would sell the clubhouse, sell the bikes, and fuck off to the south of France and drink. <laughs> Something like that. I think it's kind of that's true. That's so fucking true, but can you imagine just... Well, there's only two years left. Have we, have we only five the IRA? Da, 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 da. Can, can you just try and wrap your head around a camera in a back alley, and it's low, and it's nighttime, and you're zipping along a back alley, and I, all of a sudden that camera lifts up over a fence, and you hear a dog or two, and then there's a window, and in that window is him with a smoke. And then I come in sideways with my fucking smoke. That would be a fucking show. So you never know. All uh, you gotta do is put it out there and if the checkbook's big enough, we'll be back. Brilliant, that's a, that's a new concept guys, sounds great. Right, we're going to go to the audience for Q&A's. I'm uh, going to come over. Boom. What's that? Are you going to be casting in the Mayan season two? Are you going to be casting in the Mayan season two? We wish them all the best. We really do. We're we're uh, we're a huge supporter of of Emilio. Huge supporter of FX and everything they do. John Langraff's a genius. Sutter's a genius. And I haven't seen it. I hope it's amazing. Um, but, you know, Tig and Chips, we've sailed, man. 
we sail. Um, we've told our story. We're not we're not doing any any guest spots for you, you know we've we've done it. However, you never know down the line. I just hope the show's really fucking good. And I hope it's just amazing in, in ratings and everything else. But I have we. Have, Awesome, next question. Where's my guy? I can't see him. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Just there on the left hand side. Thank you. This is for Kim. Uh, when you first started acting, your first role was this guy. You played a turtle. Have you talked to my mother? <laughs> no, has fucking Joyce talked to you? That's you mean actually... you've never seen Kim Coe's the early years? No. <laughs> I got a great ass. No, no, he's got a great ass. I've seen it. I did. I played a fucking turtle. I was seven years old. Great, great too. True. Me and my best, my best friend Humphrey Tam. He, I was the bad turtle. He was the good turtle, of course. There's pictures of it. My mom showed me a picture of this like 20 years ago. Turtle. Great too. You bet. Fucking act. Next question. Just at the front, this lady here. How far in advance you knew what the end was going to be because it must have been quite difficult keeping the emotion intact. Um, we didn't really know a lot, did we? Can I just say this? And then Tommy will finish this. What we did know is this. Every year from the beginning of season five, Sutter would tell the leads who was living and who was dying. So we knew in season five that Opie heartfelt right he was the first to go so when when Shibs and Tig were told at the beginning of season seven that we don't die we we knew that we were the only ones left because everyone else knew they didn't know how they didn't know when seriously they didn't know Perlman didn't know how or when but no we we were always warned there was no you know you hear stories about people reading the script oh I don't no, no Sutter had more class than that he he let us know at the beginning of the year if we were going to go. I mean, Ryan, like Opie, he was supposed to die in season one. They, yeah, but he, he, the kid's such a phenomenal actor that, you know, what a fucking stupid thing to do to kill him. So they kind of, his character grew, grew, grew into season four, and then they smashed his fucking head in. How good. How good was Flanagan and Hunnam in the prison when Opie said, I got this? How, how, how amazing. And, and I, don't, I, I don't know if you noticed, but Tommy and I talked about this. As Tig, it really should have been me. It should have been me in that ring. It should have been me. But Opie, yeah. Opie gave himself up, and I, I couldn't watch. My character couldn't watch because I was, I was too, uh, too broken up about the whole thing. Yeah, the whole, yeah, that's the thing though, I mean, you know, like a, a, sh a show which is fictional and, you know, that, that, I don't know, that, 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 the fictional brotherhood, I suppose, became real, so, you know, every time someone would damage though, he felt it, I mean, you really felt it, like Kim says, it wasn't acting, it was feeling, and, so. And get this, I, I might even tear up right now, true story. It's Ryan's last scene in the TV series. And we had planned this out. Only three of us were in the prison watching, Chibs, Jax, and Tig. On his last shot, when they turned the camera around on Opie, I got this. 10 cast members came. Perlman, Hunnam, Katie, Tara, Boone, Answer. They all came and was the crew were in there as well. We were standing in the window, all of us. So when Opie looked up, he saw us all. How how amazing is that? That is great. That's the kind of love and support we gave to everybody. And and also every single castmate, when Boone went, when Theo went, we would come to set. We, when we're not in those scenes, but we would come to set and, and be a part of uh, their demise on the show. I say, right, because uh, Theo, when he was uh, having his pie, just before his death scene, um, oh, sorry, spoiler, <laughs> Juice is dead. Spoiler alert. Um, he didn't know we were watching, and uh, he was doing his thing, and we all run in the room and give him a hug, and he was like, oh, oh. Uh, it was a kind of sweet moment. You had to be there, had to be there. Okay, next question. Just 
Chip? Yep, this lady here. How hard was he performing the last day on set? Oh, no. It's a bit weird one, isn't it? If, if, if you know, I love it. Sorry, Kevin. The one of the, it's one of the funniest things it was. Nah, it's cool. You do. Um, one of the funniest things. You know, before a scene, you know I look like a fucking monkey, so you're like, just, you know, you check the mirror, make sure you look up. Right. This fucker loves a mirror. He's like a budgie with a mirror. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the last day, every single crew member ran up my mirrors. There was 85 mirrors for Jake's last shot in the series. Sorry, that was another, you had to be there. 85 mirrors, it was the funniest thing I've ever, ever seen. You know, that, but the last, uh, Chibs Tig scene, saying goodbye to Jax, right? That, that was not the last day of filming, but the second last day of filming. And so, uh, it was actually easy, because we were really saying goodbye to Jax and saying goodbye to the show, but President, VP, we had done our jobs, and Sutter, to his brilliance, ended, like, like there was Quinn, and there was DL, and, there, and he ended on me and Tommy. The last shot was just Tommy and I looking off as Charlie zipped away in his motorcycle. Do you mind? He, he, he was um, on that old, he had an old Harley kickstart. And we were, we were all getting into, you know, the emotional thing and this is Jags taking off and you'll never see him again. And the fucking bike wouldn't start. It wouldn't start. I got it on. I got it on. I got it on. I got it on. up the fucking street. Oh. Poor Charlie. I think Flanagan and Theo Rossi did some of the greatest stuff on that show when, when, when Juice was going to hang himself and he stops him and slaps him around. That was really never really ended because Juice turned into a bit of a snitch and, and we never got to finish. So I, I had no answer to that because uh, Sutter's locomotive going forward, there was some loose ends that never were, 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 were but I'm so glad that I got to do some stuff with, with, with Katie because we, we, we got to early, it was nice stuff to do. Next question, yeah, this lady here, yeah. Hey, nine. Um, hey, nine. Hey, nine. Hey, nine. <laughs> I wanted to know, last weekend, Ryan and Charlie did a yoga class for everyone at a convention, don't know if you know about that. So everyone sat in on a yoga class and they taught them for an hour. If you guys could give us a class, what would it be? N never gonna happen. <laughs> origami? Origami? Japanese paper folding? I, I have no answer to that question. I saw some photographs and uh, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but good luck to them. Thank you. Thanks for running about. I appreciate that. <laughs> Lady here, yep. Hi. Tig, you are absolutely legend for me. Oh, no question with my question. Really? That's it? You're a legend? Oh, wow, look at that. You're a legend. Last hey, one. No one more. So, last, last two questions and we're finished. So just over here, this gentleman here. Big top hat. OK, 
skates one here at the front. Did you get to keep your clutch at the end of the And the bait. You guys know the answer to that. All right, kids. It's been an absolute, absolute pleasure. Love you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Manchester.